What's going on guys? Waco from Revolution here with the man, the myth, the legend, Fabrizio Buonamaso Stigliani, the creative director of Bulgari and one of the coolest guys in the industry. How Thank are you, you sir? Thank you so much. Wait, you're very kind. <laughs> and I know later this week we're going to be joined by yourself, the incredible Jean-Christophe Babin, who's over there as well, and Antoine Pin to do a retrospective yes. on the incredible Octo Finissimo, which I feel is the most important watch that the designed in the last 10 years. Thank you and so much. And every time you launch new versions of it, it just empowers the statement, right? And so we've got two versions of that watch uh, here, a collaboration with Sajima. Uh, the famous Japanese artist, uh, yes. but also a eight days power reserve skeletonized version as well, which are two different extrapolations of, of the Octo Finissimo in such wonderfully creative ways. Fabrizio, my brother, please tell me a little bit about these watches. So I have two completely, uh, totally different watches because the first one, the eight days, is an evolution of our very iconic uh, um, skeleton uh, Octo Finissimo with a manual winding movement, this time with eight Days power reserve. Incredible. Completely redesigned the movement. As you can see, for the first time, we have the inscription about uh, about the movement on the, let me say, visible on the movement. For the first time, we write eight days. Wow. We changed the power reserve system. We changed the movement. So the movement and the platine is completely see-through. But we have so many wheels that at the end you don't see you don't see the light. But the movement is a, is a, is hundred percent a skeleton movement. Right. You see all the components. And uh, it was more than two years of development, starting from the previous, uh, uh, starting from the previous uh, skeleton version. That's incredible. But you know what I love is about how you've designed the bridges to sort of really echo the yeah, in indexes exactly, of the watch. Exactly. You know? The idea it was to have uh, this architectural approach. Right. So you see that the bridges of the movement follow uh, the position of the indexes. Right. And uh, we working on this concept, uh, starting from the previous uh, skeleton. This time it's even better because we we had the rail on top of the platform, wow. and you see the indexes that come from this rail. So the indexes are applied indexes. Ah, we decided nice. to have this kind of color, this kind of color scheme. So rose gold case with this color for the platine, for the dial, and even for the strap. And we introduce even the new. A strap on this uh, on this uh, skeleton. Uh, um, so as you can see, the first link of the bracelet comes from the metal bracelet, right. and you have the alligator strap uh, that right. is very very uh, comfortable on the wrist. Amazing. On the other hand, we have uh, an amazing execution. It was a great pleasure for me to have the opportunity to work with the, the, the very famous architect uh, Katsuo Sejima. Uh, the idea comes out after the first meeting that we had. It was unfortunately a Zoom meeting during the lockdown. Right. And uh, during the presentation, I was shocked by uh, the invisible train that Sejima made. So it's a train that is made in a full polish surface, it's a chrome finishing. So it's invisible because it's a reflection of all the environment that the train had. And starting from this concept, uh, we, we, we are a bit obsessed by the ultra thin execution. We are a bit obsessed by the different finishing and different way to play with common material on the Octo. So when I've seen the invisible train, so we're gonna have the invisible watch. And uh, the invisible watch could be the latest uh, complication when we talk about uh, ultra thin execution, because <laughs> it's gonna be invisible. Right. This, was, uh, this was a bit our, our idea. Right. And, uh, the second point, it was to work with the same material and the same finishing for case, bracelet, dial and indexes. So this watch is a mirror, reflect all the things that is around you and each time that you read the time, you see your face on the dial. So you are your time. And this was a, a philosophical concept that you can find around this watch. But at the end, it's a very, very unique execution that we made in 360 pieces. And it was a great pleasure to work with Sejima that has a lot of elements in common in terms of uh, uh, proportions and way to play with shapes uh, uh, that, that we can find in our brand. Amazing. Uh, tell me a little bit about these micro dots that are applied to the yeah. sapphire crystal. The micro dots are applied on the, on the inner part of the crystal sapphire it's just to give you a texture. Right. And you can see when you turn the watch under the light, sometimes it's totally invisible and some other times you can see the dot. The idea was to apply the texture. Right. This was asked from uh, Sejima oh, to have a certain, uh, um, yes, to have a certain uh, different mood, not right. just a watch completely plain with this chrome finishing, but just to have a different shades on the dial. You know, what? I get what you're saying because somehow, if you have it that it's completely polished as yeah. well, it becomes almost too monochrome. Yeah. You know? 
this was the idea to add something but something very subtle that works uh, overall with the, with, the, with the design of the watch. Incredible. This is amazing. I also like the fact that this is um, it's, it's actually pretty excessively priced, yeah. you know? Is it it's almost the same price of the regular collection. That's incredible. It's 13, uh, 13 k 13,600. 13, is it made in a limited edition? Or? It's made it's in 360 pieces around the world. Dude, you're going to like have a major problem allocating these watches. Yeah, <laughs> like the sketches. <laughs> like the sketch. <laughs> We are very happy about this collaboration because it gave us the opportunity to, to play with the Octo in a different way. And uh, we made uh, the titanium one, we made the steel with double finishing, yeah. but we never made uh, the Octo Finition with the full polish uh, uh, finishing. Right. That's great, dude. That's so cool. And on the other hand, when you turn the watch, it's the same finishing that you can find on the movement. So again, is a, is a more than the really? previous one, is just one finishing, even, even for the movement this time. That's fantastic. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to wind it up, so because you know, I want you to see the small seconds hand here, because it's, it's almost invisible, yeah. right? And it's just kind of like levitating in space, yeah. just behind the, uh, that's phenomenal. Yeah, this was I the I love idea. this watch. <laughs> Dude, this is fantastic. Hang on, and I, gotta, I love because it's simple, but it's completely different from the other. So this is the thing that I love the most. Bro, I'm gonna, and right now, after this, I'm going to speak to Antoine. I want to buy one. This is phenomenal. It's, it's the things that phenomenal. I love the most. It's to play with simple things in an in a, uh, unexpected way. It's so it's good. It's just a steel watch with a polished finishing, uh, polished dial, polished hands. But as you can see, the look of the watch is, uh, oh, is it's a brand incredible. new. Oh, it's incredible. But it, honestly, it is, it is like almost jumps from being a watch to a, a shaped yes. contemporary art piece. Yes, you know? exactly, exactly. It's time that you change the shape and the finishing yes. of the, the, sorry, the material and the finishing yes. of the Octo, you have a different angle. This time it's look a very high-tech products. It's very contemporary and it's uh, completely different from the other Octo that we, that we made. This is phenomenal. Dude, no, I, I love it. I'm very happy. I, Fabrizio, you crushed it, brother. <laughs> Bravo, well Thank done. Thank you so much. Dude, this is amazing. I love this watch. Thanks, guys. Cheers.